I think uh, I have come to learn a lesson in life that people will look at you the way you look at yourself. If as long as I was treating myself as a patient or as somebody who was disabled or, or, or have a sad persona around me or still despair losing legs and not moved on, I was looked upon like that. But the day I took charge of my situation, I said, no, I'm going to be as normal. Well, I'd never say that I'm abnormal, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, uh, I, I would. And, and actually, there is nothing that I don't do, which uh, people with all functions uh, intact in their body do. I drive, I swim, I play, I watch movies, I listen to music, I cook. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a homemaker um, and I write some poetry and I have hobbies, I travel. So there's really nothing really different and that's that's what I crusade for. I call myself a person on, on a mission called Ability Beyond Disability who actually advocates that uh, the differences are I think just a matter of thought not matter of action if you really take charge and uh, do it as casually people also take it that way and I think the onus laid upon me to make the other person comfortable rather than the other person trying to make me comfortable so once they saw that we were I was all right with the chair and I was happy within my space then they would let their uh, guards down and speak to me normally or include me they would not talk about fashion sari shopping because i could no longer wear a sari so they would delete the sari talks not realizing that i would still like to talk about it i would probably cherish some very good memories about wearing saris or at least updating my information as to what is the latest fashion being a fashionable woman myself but slowly and steadily, a time came when I was the showstopper on the ramp shows. So this change of attitude, I think first, like I say, that people will look at you the way you look at yourself. So you have to create an aura around you. You have to help people around. So it, it comes to the communication skills. The way you learn soft skills uh, in any business environment, mm, it, it, I think this is also a learning like that and a person who suffers with any kind of physical challenge can help the other person who does not understand it's not their fault because it is not as common sure this is this is a unique situation which is not universally omnipresent so obviously you don't expect everybody to understand it the way you do you can only help them understand so that's what I do. I, I make people understand my situation and I also make them understand that I'm all right with it. And the moment they realize that if I'm okay with it, they're okay with it.